Hi guys, it's Jodie and welcome to a new reading vlog. So I'm going to be filming a weekend reading vlog and I'm really excited because I don't really get a lot of weekends off to be able to do these anymore and I actually have this weekend off. It's my last few days off before I go back to work at the bookstore and I want to make the most of it and have like a really fun cozy weekend. So hopefully we can do that. So I just got done filming the outro to my previous vlog if you guys haven't watched that it will be linked up here somewhere and down below because all of the books i want to read this weekend i was reading during that vlog so you can head to that vlog to hear all of my thoughts and things but yes anyways today's friday it's currently 10 past 10 in the morning and i'm planning to go out for the day i think i'm gonna head to the city i'm gonna go to the library there i think and then go around a few stores and go to a coffee shop and do some reading so it should be a fun day and a fun weekend so yes my tbr is very much the same as it was in my previous vlog but i would like to read all of these books this weekend if i can so the first one is this book here which is city of fallen angels i've been reading this for quite some time now i'm listening to it on audio and i really want to get it finished i have about two hours left so i feel like i can this is the fourth book in the mortal instrument series i'm really not enjoying it however i don't want to give a spoiler but a character that i actually like is I think going to make an appearance back into this series again so maybe I'll start to enjoy it more because I hate all the characters except for this character and another one who haven't been in it so far so yes hopefully that will make this a bit more enjoyable but yeah I have two hours left of this hoping to finish the audiobook maybe today or tomorrow then next is my killer vacation so I'm on page 90 and this is a page on buddy read i desperately need to finish but i just i'm not enjoying it at all i do not like the love interest and i'm just finding it a bit underwhelming to be honest but basically this is a romance and murder mystery we have a bounty hunter and a school teacher who are kind of working together to solve this murder that happened at the rental that the teacher is like renting in this place um she discovered the body there and now they're trying to figure out what happened because they don't think it's what the police think happened and yeah there's a bit of romance going on and yeah it is fun but not my favorite so i do really want to finish this though because i just need it out of my life <laughs> then next we have escaping from houdini by kerry maniscalco so i'm currently on page 222 so i'm literally just over the halfway point so i do still have quite a bit of this to read but i'm hoping to make a good amount of progress on this today i'm definitely enjoying this book but not as much as the first two in this series this one has taken a direction that i'm not too keen of and it has a trope in that i really dislike it's my least favorite trope so it is taking away a little bit of my enjoyment for the series but i have faith by the end it will all be good and yeah so i am still enjoying it i like the murder mystery element i'm just excited to see where it goes it's an interesting read so far and i just really like this series and i love carrie maniscalco's writing in this series it's just so descriptive and atmospheric and i love it so hopefully i will be finishing this this weekend and then lastly i would like to read law of olympus volume two so this one is a persephone and hades retelling i really enjoyed the first volume it was originally a webtoon so yeah i do want to try and get through this this weekend as well so that is my entire tbr ambitious yes but possible also yes so we shall try and get through these books and then i can finally say i've finished a book during august because i haven't yet and it's currently the 5th of august so i need to get a move on i need to make up for last month's terrible reading so yes anyways i do have a book here to open and i think i know what this is okay so this is a second hand copy that i got online and i bought this because i saw this in one of katie's vlogs from katie is reading and i instantly was like i need that in my life it just looked and sounded so cool and yeah i just really wanted it so yeah i saw this on her channel and i love vampires as you guys know and obviously with vampathon coming up in a couple of months and just like general spooky season i just thought this would be perfect to get and yeah like i just had to get this so it's this book here which is so cool look at this cover i absolutely love it so it says vampires two centuries of great vampire stories edited by alan ryan and like it's just such a cool book so this is just a collection of different vampire stories and i'm planning to read dracula finally in the next couple of months and i was thinking once i've read dracula this would be super fun to pick up as well and see how dracula inspired so many other vampire tales so yes i'm very very happy that i got this and i love the cover so yeah this also really kind of matches like my dress and my nails like i feel like this is a cool aesthetic <laughs> 
but yes that is my little bit of book mail so i am going to finish getting ready and then i'm going to head out i need to walk to the train station which is probably going to take me about half an hour so yeah we're going to do that i will probably listen to my audiobook when i do that and then i will hopefully be going to the library have a little mooch about that and hopefully maybe sit and read or something i'm not too sure but yeah i will probably talk to you guys like this evening when i'm home because i'm probably going to be out like most of the day but hopefully you guys will enjoy the bit of b-roll that is coming and yeah so welcome to a weekend reading vlog okay so here is my outfit just thought i'd show it because i thought it was cute so i've got this little black like polka dot dress on i love this because it's so like victorian and if it's the vibe of the book i'm currently reading and then I have my cute little, I don't think you guys can tell, um, but I added my night court pendant to like this J necklace. And this is my friendship necklace with Emily from Book Bear's Cottage. Um, and I love it. It's so cute. I got this at Comic Con. Um, and I have my sword earrings in. I literally wear these all the time now. I'm obsessed. Then we have the Waterstones tote, of course, always wrapping Waterstones. Um, and then I had to bring an extra bag to put like stuff in because I have like a jumper to return in here, books, and then I have like other things in here. So we're going for two bags because I don't want to put it all in a tote bag because it gets too heavy on my shoulder. Um, then I do have my Converse, which I need to buy new laces for because these have my laces on from my really old Converse because the other ones snapped randomly, which is weird. By the way, my carpet is not dirty. Um, that's like little indents in the floor, like if you do that, um, from when we moved furniture when we were building this. So yeah, my carpet's not dirty. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the outfit for today. I thought it was kind of cute. Um, so yeah, I am gonna go now and walk to the train station and I shall catch up with you guys later.
guys so it's much later it is currently almost half seven in the evening and i've been out all day i am so tired so i've done a lot of walking today but i did have a nice day i went to the library i actually checked out some books which is the first time i've ever checked out books in the library since i was like very young let's put it that way um but i went to a different library like the one in the city that has like a lot more books and they had like quite a lot of good stuff nothing particular i was looking for but i did end up taking out both of these so i took out thornhill by pam smy and i've seen this before and it's basically kind of like a creepy story about this girl who's in a foster home and she has mutism i think it's called i can't remember i think that's how it's referred to in here and it's a book that's basically just filled with like emotion tension i guess you could say like depression mental health and lots of other themes like that and basically this young girl is kind of isolated from everybody else she stays away from everyone she's bullied by one of the girls in the foster home she's really, really awful to her and then there's lots of other like kind of weird things going on and like thornhill itself is basically this kind of negative energy in itself and it turns people into monsters sort of so yeah it was a really really interesting read so i started this at the library and then i carried on reading it at waterstones i got myself a cup of tea there and i sat and read the rest of it and i really enjoyed this it has like a lot of imagery basically it'll be like a few pages of text with the story and then you'll get like some imagery as well like that that kind of goes with it the only thing i will say sometimes i got a bit confused i did really really enjoy it and i really liked the imagery in here and it was just like a really fun read um definitely one to read in one sitting and i'm giving it 3.5 stars so that's the first book i've actually finished this month as well which wasn't on my tbr and wasn't planned but i did enjoy this and it was fun to have read it and then this other one is totally random and the only reason i really got this is because i love both the author and the illustrator and that is odd and the frost giants by neil gaiman illustrated by chris riddell so i love chris riddell's illustrations he's one of my favorite illustrators i will read anything that he has illustrated and i really enjoy neil gaiman's kind of retellings so i've read snow glass apples and which is a retelling of snow white i've read hansel and gretel that he rewrote and i've also read another one but i can't remember what it is and i just really enjoyed them and I thought this looked super fun. So I checked this out and I'm going to hopefully read it this month. I have until I think the 26th of the month to read it. But it has loads of Chris Riddell's illustrations in. Sounds really, really good. And I'm excited to give this one a read. So I'll probably save this maybe for like a 24-hour readathon or something. But I just thought it looked really fun. So yes, yeah, so those are the two books I checked out from the library. And then I did read a little bit in Starbucks as well. So not a lot because I was starting to get a headache. I'm now on page 254 of a scheme from houdini so i've read like 32 pages i think i am still enjoying this it's a three stars at the moment so we'll see how the next hundred and so pages go so my aim is to read like a bunch more of this tonight so my goal is to get to page 300 and then i will only have 131 pages left which hopefully i can read tomorrow so that's my my goal for this evening um i didn't read any more my killer vacation so maybe that'll be for tomorrow. <laughs> and then I did also buy a book from the charity shop. So I got this one here, which is The Folk Tales of Scotland, retold by Nora and William Montgomery. I've seen this before, I don't remember where, but yeah, it's basically just filled with like folklore of Scotland. And you all know I love anything to do with folklore mythology, especially the UK. But I haven't actually ever read any of Scotland's myths and legends before. And I'm excited too, because my mum's Scottish, so like half my family are. And yeah, I would like to know more about like the myths and legends. My mum's told me like the odd one, but I'm going to let my mum potentially read this as well if she wants to, because I feel like she would really, really like this. This is what it looks like. I really like the cover as well. And this was really, really cheap. It was only 2 dollars so i'm really glad that i picked this up but yeah that's all like my updates and library hall slash charity shop hall i did go to waterstones but they didn't have anything i wanted i am on the hunt for some like horror novellas i guess you'll call them like really short horror books so i have like nothing but black and teeth like that sort of thing so if you have any recommendations for any really short horror books or like novellas please let me know because I want to film like a reading vlog reading like a load of them so yeah I have nothing but black and teeth but I need some more so if anyone has any recommendations 
please leave them in the comments but yeah they didn't have anything like that or just anything i really wanted so yeah that is all of my updates i'm gonna edit my weekly reading vlog and finish that and get that uploaded and then i have a few other like little bits like that i want to do and then I will probably just make a cup of tea and sit down and try and do some reading. So try and read until page 300 of this. And then we'll see what I feel like doing later. I feel like I might want to watch like a TV show or maybe like a movie or something. I don't know. I'm feeling very, very tired. So we'll see. But um, yeah, that's all my updates anyways. I will probably catch up with you guys later when hopefully I've gotten to page 300. <laughs> Hi guys, so today is Saturday, so it's Saturday afternoon at the moment and I haven't done any reading yet but I have been giving our house a good clean and being really productive I donated some books to the library I went and picked some packages up which I have to unbox here and, and yeah I've just been pottering around the house and getting things done so yeah it has been a productive day but yeah let's open this because I'm not entirely sure what these are I think one is a book part from a Luma crate but I'm not 100% sure so let's just open them and find out if this is what I think it is, I am going to scream. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, thank you, Elle. Thank you, Elle. Because I know you will have hooked me up with this. Oh my gosh. I literally want to scream. I'm so happy. Oh my god, this is literally one of my most anticipated releases of the year. So this is Soulmates. And look at the cover. I'm so excited. Like, I can't. This is by Suzanne Lee. And I'm so excited for this. As, like, a fan of K-dramas, this is definitely a K-drama vibe. And, oh, I'm so, so excited. So we have Hannah. And she has, like, this really cool boyfriend. And then he, like, suddenly just leaves her. And it says here that he and all her friends are newly obsessed with K-pop and K-dramas. And Hannah is not. And he feels like he has nothing in common with her anymore because after years of trying to embrace the american part and shunning the korean side of her korean american identity hannah finds that's exactly what now has her on the outs but someone who does know k-dramas so well that he's actually starring in one is jacob kim hannah's former best friend whom she hasn't seen in years he's desperate for a break from the fame so a family trip back to san diego might be just what he needs that is if he and hannah can figure out what went wrong when they last part and navigate the new feelings developing between them. I can't. Summer themed romance read featuring Korean cultural references, heartwarming family dynamics and a friends to lovers plot. And it also says that it highlights much needed AAPI representation in the YA sphere, replete with a gripping, unforgettable voice. So yes, I am so happy that I have this. Like you do not understand. I cannot wait to read this. I'm so tempted to drop everything I'm reading and start this now. But thank you so much to Harper360 slash L at Harper Insider for hooking me up with this book. I literally just can't. Like I'm so friggin happy right now. Oh, and this does come out September 20th, by the way, just in case you're interested. So yeah, if you liked XOXO by Axio, if you like K-dramas, and even if you like, like, K-pop kind of thing, then you'll probably like this book as well. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited to read this, and I just can't believe that I have it. Oh my gosh, seriously. <laughs> I'm so happy that I just opened that. Okay, so this next item, I really have no idea. Oh, this is my t-shirt. Okay, cool. So I ordered this Hocus Pocus t-shirt off Etsy. So cute. Look at this. I hope I got a medium. Did I get medium? Yes. But it doesn't seem as oversized as I wanted it. But it's still cute. Look, it's got the Sanderson sisters on it. Like, isn't this so cute? Look, and there's Binks. I wanted to call Frankie Binks, but... Jamie didn't like it <laughs> but yeah look how cute this t-shirt is like I'm literally obsessed I am gonna try and buy as many spooky t-shirts as I can I live in just big t-shirts like that so I'm very happy with that and then lastly we have this box which I think is the book part that I ordered from Illuminary this is definitely going to be the book part so I hope this is the right one because I still am trying to track down all of the missing ones and I should have bought them at Yelp but 
I didn't because I'm stupid. But I did manage to get hold of this one from them. Yeah, so this is one of the ones I needed and I love it so much. It's so pretty. So I got this one here. It's Forgotten Fables and Folklore. This is what it looks like. So it's this gorgeous lilac colour. And I love these to put my like highlighting pens in. So it says on here, a compendium of whispered tales from between worlds. I love this. This is so pretty. So I'm so happy that I managed to get this one. I still want to collect a few of the other ones. But I do now have, I think, four. And then I also have the Shadow Hunter one. So I have five. But I think there's a few more I still need to try and collect. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy that I finally have this one because this one is like my favourite out of all of them. I love it so much. I'm so happy right now. What like amazing posts that I just got. Like, thank you. So yeah, anyways, that's like my little unboxing. Oh, I just really want to start this book. Do I? Do I, do I? It's not that long, so I mean... No, I'm gonna I'm gonna be sensible. I'm gonna try and finish my two current reads and then I'll read this next week. So make sure you watch my upcoming reading vlogs because I will be reading this book and probably obsessing over it. I'm just I'm so excited. I honestly can't even like cope with myself right now. But yeah, anyways, I am going to tidy up my desk and just my library room a little bit more. I'm gonna put some pens in this pot and then I think I'm gonna do a journal spread of like my days read. I wanna do that. And I think maybe a bit of editing. And then once I've done that, I will probably pop into town because I want to go to TK Maxx to see if there's any more Halloween stuff because I just can't help myself. When it comes to Halloween, I just can't be tamed. As the iconic Miley Cyrus once said, I literally can't. Like, I just need to know what new things are in there. And I'm actually in a Facebook group for like Halloween stuff in the UK. And I've been seeing photos people have posted and there's certain items I really want to get my hands on including this really cute little cat mug so yeah i'm gonna go and check out what stuff they have there maybe grab a coffee and then tonight i'm gonna try and get some reading done i need to have a cozy reading evening and probably the same tomorrow um but yeah anyways that is all of my updates i think someone just placed something through our door so i'm gonna go and see what it was and um, so i will chat to you guys later As pretas não saem do lugar Quando o corno inglês Ter que ir pro xadrez Porque não tem mais onde Okay, so mini haul, I did go to TK Maxx very, very quickly. I was literally in there for like less than 10 minutes, but I did get two things. So I got this cute little purple and gold pumpkin. I just thought it was adorable. I loved the colour. Um, this was $4.99, which isn't too bad. I just, I love it. And it kind of matches this very, very nicely. But yeah, I just loved the colour and the gold. So I picked that up. And then I got this. So I'd seen this when I went a few days ago. And I regretted not getting it. And when I went today, I thought it had gone. And I was like, oh, I really wish I'd bought it now. And then I found it hidden down the back of the shelf. And I was like, okay, well, I have to get it. Like, now that they definitely do still have it. Um, So it's this Dracula-inspired snow globe. So obviously when you shake it, it goes like that. And we have Dracula's castle. And then we have this little bat down here and just look at it it's so cute so yeah it does play music as well which is so cool so yeah that's probably not going to stop anytime soon. <laughs> but yeah, I got those two. So yeah, that is my little haul. And I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Bye.
Okay, hi guys. So it's been a few days since I talked to this vlog and yeah, so basically the weekend reading vlog did not happen. I had some personal things come up and I didn't really vlog on the Sunday and I just haven't had time to pick up the camera since. I've been working at the bookstore like non-stop and there's a lot of things going on and it's just been a very stressful time. So I haven't actually done a lot of reading and like I said, it didn't continue this vlog and it didn't end up being like a full weekend reading vlog but I hope you guys enjoyed the footage that you saw but I do have reading updates for you that I thought I'd give you guys so I did finish three books so I finished Escaping from Houdini and I decided to give this three stars I did really enjoy this and as always I really enjoy Carrie Maniscalco's writing her writing is just so beautiful and I love how descriptive it is because it really does give you like all the details you need to picture like not only the setting but like the smells the character would smell and like the sounds and just all these different things so you really can like picture yourself in the character's like head and like feel what they would feel and see what they would see and hear what they would hear like that sort of thing and I just love that and I just love her kind of really atmospheric kind of gothic descriptions of things it's my favorite kind of thing in books and I just absolutely loved it in this one the reason I have given it three stars is because I took a star off because it has one of my least favorite tropes in that I absolutely cannot stand and absolutely hated in this book it really ruined a lot of the story for me and made me dislike the main character a little bit because of it like I just don't think it was necessary and it's just so annoying it did not accomplish anything in my opinion regarding the story or the ending like I think the story could have still kind of fold out the same way without this specific thing being in here I don't want to give any spoilers but yeah I had to take a start off that it was just yeah it really did annoy me and I just really didn't like it so I took a star off for that trope and then the reason I took another star off was because the main character in here I don't know why Carrie Maniscalco did this but she dumbs her down so much she Audrey Rose is a very intelligent woman she's very sophisticated and she really does kind of stand up for women's rights like she is all about feminism she is just very clever and yeah I just love her in the first two books but in this one she makes such stupid decisions she gets manipulated so much she literally just doesn't see what's in front of her half the time and it's just so unbelievably oblivious to so many things and I just don't understand that because it's not the same character that I experienced in the first two books so I don't know why like the author decided to do that but she just really kind of dumbed down the main character for me and just made her make so many stupid decisions that I just don't think she would make like based off the first two books I don't know I can't really explain it and I feel like if you read this book then you will understand what I'm trying to say but I just didn't really like how the main character was portrayed in this one and like there was some things towards the end where like she started to think a certain way and then all of a sudden it was like no and I was just like well what was the point like I don't know it's just it's not her like it's not my girl Audrey like it's just not her so yeah I took a star off for that so three stars my least favorite so far but I'm very very glad that I read it I did still really love this it's really really good the stakes are very high in here because I'm getting a phone call hold on I missed the call hopefully they don't ring again <laughs> so yeah what I was saying was that this is very high stakes because we quite literally have a group of characters on this boat stuck in the middle of the ocean with the murderer on board so it is very very intense and a little bit gory at times but I just loved it and I just love the characters and I love the way the writing is done and yeah it's just really really fun kind of mystery as well so I would still really recommend this but yeah three stars for this one then I finally finished this <laughs> which is City of Fallen Angels which is the fourth book I believe in the Mortal Instruments series and I did not like this as was to be expected this was 1.5 stars and the only reason it wasn't one star is because two characters I actually like which are literally the only characters I like in this series made an appearance towards the end of the book and saved the book from being one star if they hadn't been in it it would have been one star probably even 0 0.5 stars because Clary and Jace just it's like going around in circles nothing happens it's a continuation of the same shit all the time they're annoying they're petty they're immature they're woe is me like I just can't stand them Simon as well like <sighs> 
come on. Just come on. I just, yeah, do not like him. Isabel's okay, but she's not a fave, but she's like, okay. Everyone else, so annoying, just so stupid, and I just don't like them. Like, I just do not like any of the main characters except for Alec and Magnus. They're the only two that I like, the only two that have redeemed the series for me. I do absolutely adore the world. Like, I love the world in here. I think the world is so fun. So, I really, really love that. I love how Cassandra Clare ties in, like, things to do with Lilith and stuff like that. Like, that I really love. But the characters, no. So, yes. That is why I'm giving this a low rating, which is what I expected to give it. I'm reading this series because I want to finish it. And I want to be able to move on to the other books that are in this world. So, obviously, the Infernal Devices and so on so yeah i want to read those which is the only reason i'm forcing myself to read these so this is 1.5 stars i'm sorry if you love this but it just was not for me i don't like the characters don't really have anything else to say okay and then i started and finished this arc that i was sent of seal mates by suzanne lee i can't remember if i unboxed this earlier in this vlog or if it was in my previous vlog but yeah I love this. This was so good. I'm so happy that I read this and then I got sent an early copy. I did like a very brief review on Goodreads so you can head that if you do want to check out my thoughts. But basically this is a perfect book for my fellow K-drama and K-pop lovers. You need to read this book. Pre-order it. Go and get it. It is so good. It will take every box for you. There are so many K-drama and K-pop references in here that I just loved and there's so many cute moments and as well this is a really really a good book that delves into the darker side of the kind of k-pop slash k-drama industry so how that this lifestyle of being an idol is glamorized and it is a really toxic thing generally like it's a very bad experience for a lot of these people it goes into some of the darker side of it which i thought was really really good and it also does talk about how there is now this kind of like new hype for obviously korean culture and obviously because of k-pop and k-dramas a lot of people like myself have fallen in love with the korean culture and k-dramas k-pop and that sort of thing and it does touch on that which i thought was very interesting and it touches on how that actually impacts actual koreans and for example our main character is korean american here and she struggles with identity and she has always tried to separate being korean and american from each other and all of a sudden being korean is like in fashion like you know it's one of those things and she's very confused confused by this and is kind of struggling with her identity and I just thought it was very interesting that the author put that in there because it does make people like myself and non-Koreans see the effect they can have on people and yeah I just really really like that it was kind of talking about identity as well and also like elements of society and the darker side to the K-drama slash K-pop industry and yeah it just touched on a lot of like interesting themes which I thought was really good and the romance was super cute in here it's friends to lovers and and it's very adorable and I really really enjoyed this this is a book you can definitely read in one sitting I started it and read a few pages and then I read the rest of this book in one sitting it was just so fun and I really enjoyed it gave it four stars would highly recommend even if you're not into k-pop or k-dramas you would still absolutely adore this as like a fun YA friends to lovers it's just really 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 good and if you're a fan of xoxo by axio or you like once upon a k-prom by kat cho then you will definitely definitely love this book and yeah make sure you go and pre-order it i will leave it linked in the description box but yes those are the books that i finished since i last spoke to you which i'm very very happy about i have the day off today but it's quite late into the day now so i think i'm gonna head over into town potentially but i thought i would just continue this vlog for today and i'll end this vlog this evening because i have work tomorrow so these are my current reads but this may change i'm in a weird reading mood where i just want to read loads of different books so yeah these are my current reads and i don't know if i'm going to continue reading these two i'm not sure um but i started reading more of my killer vacation because like i said i need to finish this for a patreon buddy read and i'm just not liking it at all i finally reached the halfway point last night so i'm on page 150 now which is chapter 12 yeah it is not a fun time i do not like this book i do not like the love interest and quite frankly i'm bored the only interesting part about this is the main character because she's quite funny but besides that i do not like this at all and i'm really really disappointed because i really love tessa bailey but this is just not doing it for me so if you want to hear all of my thoughts then you can watch my spoiler filled reading vlog over on my patreon 
but yeah i want to try and get through some more of this then i briefly started this on the way home because i finished a book at work and i wanted something to read on the way home so i picked this up and started it i don't know if i'll continue with it like this week i might wait until next month or something i don't know um, but i'm currently on page 24 and this is called Go Hex Yourself and this is by Jessica Clare and I've been told this is good for fans of the X-Hex. So essentially we have this girl who's like really into gaming specifically like I can't remember what it's called. It's like to do with a card game and she applies for this job thinking like she is going to be working as like part of the company who does this card game thing and it turns out she's actually going to end up working for this witch and this witch has like a nephew who's super mean and yeah i think they have to like work together to like solve some kind of curse or something i think she's actually a witch but doesn't know it so it's basically like a rom-com slash enemies to lovers kind of vibe with like witches and stuff like that and yeah so far it's okay um i'm not 100 percent sold on the writing style yet but it does seem quite interesting so far so i may continue with this but i'm just not entirely sure if i'm in the mood for it and then I did randomly start Shatter Me yesterday. So I have already read this before. I read this a few years ago and I wasn't the biggest fan. But now I know like what happens a little bit in this series and like the enemies to lovers vibes. I'm sold and I want to read it. And I do own like most of the books in the series and I've been meaning to read this series for so long. So I just kind of picked it up on a whim. I think it's because I saw some fan art and I was like, ooh, okay. So yeah, I'm on page... 41 which is chapter 7 i'm already conflicted because there's some beautiful writing in here i'm not gonna lie like i loved this here that says the sun drops into the ocean and splashes browns and reds and yellows and oranges into the world outside my window a million leaves from a hundred different branches dip in the wind fluttering with the false promise of flight the gust catches their withered wings only to force them downward forgotten and left to be trampled by the soldiers stationed just below i just think that's so beautiful and then I love this line as well. It says, Close my eyes to the sound of a soft pitter-patter rushing through the wind. Raindrops are my only reminder that clouds have a heartbeat that I have one too. So yeah, there's lots of like lovely writing like that. However, I just literally hate this where it like crosses out. Like it's just really annoying because you have to read that which is like takes a moment to read because of the line through it and it's just annoying. Like this girl's literally stuck in the same four walls and it's just going through the motions and yeah it's just like a little bit boring but like also interesting and i just like the writing and because i kind of know what happens a little bit like i can just get myself through it so yeah like i said i feel a bit conflicted so i may continue reading some more of this um because i just want to get to the rest of the books in the series but i don't know for sure if i will and i might just pick up something else entirely and i also might pick up a manga or a graphic novel so i literally just don't know what i'm gonna end up reading today but yeah i thought i'd just pop on and kind of talk to you guys that you guys know why this vlog kind of suddenly just got abandoned and what i've been reading and stuff so yeah like i said i'm going to continue the vlog on today and then end it this evening and I will probably maybe start like another vlog maybe tomorrow or something. I'm not sure because I have a lot of work this week. So I don't know if I'll be able to vlog. But I just wanted to update this one anyways. So my plans today I think are going to be to head to the city. And I just really want to go to the bookstore and just sit and read. I just really want to get out of the house. It's very rainy and I'm so happy. Like if you're in the UK we had a heat wave, so you will know. But for those of you who are not we had a horrible heat wave for a week. And if you guys couldn't tell by my recent vlogs, I am in my autumn era. I am ignoring summer. I'm pretending that she no longer exists. It's autumn to me now and I'm just in my autumn mood. Like everything's just cozy vibes and just, yeah, like I just do not want anything to do with summer anymore. I hate hot weather. I do not like it. Give me the cold weather immediately. And I woke up today. It's been raining. It's a lot cooler. It's dull outside. My soul is happy. Yes. So yeah, I'm gonna take an umbrella because it's really rainy. I just feel like it'll be nice to sit in a coffee shop and read. And then I'm gonna come home, 
make some dinner and hopefully have a cozy evening reading as well but we'll see i will just take you guys along with me for the rest of the day and then end this vlog this evening so those are my plans that's all my reading updates actually wait before i go i have books to show you guys i have book mail um most of this was very kindly sent to me except for two books so i will just quickly show you so i'm not going to go into what a lot of these are about because this clip is like 16 minutes long what's going on i don't know but i got wild is the witch by rachel griffin which i pre-ordered and it's my patreon buddy read for september cannot freaking wait i read the nature of witches with my patrons last year and it was one of my favorite books i adored it it's literally one of the best witchy books i've ever read it has gorgeous writing and if witches were to ever exist in real life would that with a specific magic system it would be the magic system within that book it's such a good book go and read it if you haven't already it's the perfect book to read for transitioning from summer to autumn in my opinion as well but this is her latest release this one again is another witchy one it also has romance in it it's set in the pacific northwest which is where i just want to live so i'm so excited for this i will be reading it next month and look how gorgeous it is this is also a first edition so it does have the gorgeous design underneath if you want this specific design make sure you go and pick one up now before they run out um but yeah very very excited for this cannot wait to read it so glad that that arrived and then i also got my pre-order for long live the pumpkin queen by sheer earnshaw i love sheer earnshaw's writing i love the nightmare before christmas i love tim burton so this is going to be a very very fun read very very excited to read this it doesn't look too long so i'm going to save this i think for october and i can't wait i love it like it's just so beautiful and then we have the very lovely publisher mail i have been sent so we have yellow face and this is by rf kwang and this doesn't come out till next year i believe i think it's march or may next year so may 2023 and yeah this is very different apparently to her other books as well um so like as you can see look what's on the back and then on the front as well so yeah it's very very different to her usual writing very very excited to read this so this is called yellow face if you're interested i will have it linked down below then i I also have this one which looks very similar to that one um, which is the new holly jackson that comes out i think this one also comes out next year so this oh no this comes out on the 8th of december this year this is a thriller um and yeah i'm very very excited this is five survive i think it's called and yeah i'm excited to read this because i really enjoyed a good girl's guide to murder and i need to read more thrillers so i feel like this will be really really fun and i have already heard such good things about this so we have this one then i have the new scarlet st Clair. i don't know if this is already out it actually might be i don't know if this is a proof or like the finished copy i honestly don't know um but this is when stars come out and yeah this again is i think a dark fantasy romance i really love a touch of darkness by scarlet st Clair, so i'm very very excited to read this i also enjoyed king of battle and blood so i just tend to really enjoy her books they're just like really fun reads and yeah i love this cover as well so this is called when stars come out i don't know if i already said that um so yeah hopefully i can pick this one up soon and then lastly i have belladonna by adeline grace and this is a gorgeous proof like look how beautiful this is and it's so floppy i can't wait to read this um this one comes out the very end of this month actually the 30th of august i believe so very excited that this is a gorgeous gothic book it says it's a highly romantic gothic infused world of wealth desire and betrayal so it sounds amazing i think i'm gonna pick this up in september and i can't wait it just sounds right up my street and yeah that's all my book mail so i am gonna go now i'm gonna go and get myself sorted figure out what i'm doing so i will chat to you guys this evening when i get home most likely and probably just put in a bunch of b-roll after this clip so yeah goodbye for now okay hey guys so it's a bit later in the day i've got a cat hair stuck to my lip as per usual and i didn't end up going out or really doing much reading so i didn't end up vlogging so i'm sorry um yeah i just decided not to go out because it was quite late in the day and i just couldn't really be bothered so i'm gonna do that a different day but i did read a little bit more of my killer vacation i'm now on page 164 so i literally read like what 10 pages maybe just over yeah this book is not getting any better it's only getting worse so that's pretty much all i have to say um but yeah i thought i'd just end this vlog here because i'm gonna start a new reading vlog because i have some things to unbox and i want to do them like at the start of a vlog rather than at the end so yeah i'm gonna end this vlog here i did manage to finish the three books so as i already mentioned earlier i did finish escaping from houdini i finished the fourth book in the mortal instrument series 
Soulmates and I think I also read two other books during this vlog so I finished five books because I read the Pam Smy one which I can't remember the name of I think that was the author and I read Lord of Olympus volume two so I read five books in total very very happy with that um I'm glad that I have actually read something because last month's reading was terrible so yeah I'm glad I managed to finish those books during this vlog and I hope you guys did enjoy like this vlog I know it didn't go to plan and I'm sorry that it didn't but hopefully you guys still enjoyed what I put in this vlog <laughs> even though it's a lot shorter than my usual vlogs so yeah i hope you guys did enjoy it if you did please do give it a big thumbs up and leave an autumnal emoji in the comments if you made it to the end of this video also let me know what you're planning to read in autumn and if you're feeling the autumn vibes yet or not because i certainly am and i'm here for it i even have my hocus pocus t-shirt on right now just to feel extra spooky and autumnal and yes everything i've mentioned including books and like other things i will have linked in the description box along with the link to my social medias and my patreon where you can find extra content from me such as reading vlogs we do a monthly buddy read we have a discord we do a monthly readathon we do live shows there's like tons of other things on there yeah it's all on the patreon so if you do want to check any of that out the link will be in the description box but thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you're safe and well i hope you're reading lots of good books and i'll see you in the next one bye <music>